Utah's men and women in blue traveled to the nation's capital to honor one of their own. Fallen officer Carrie Orozco's name is now forever etched on the National Memorial Wall. Reporter Nick Starling caught up with some of Orozco's closest colleagues on this very emotional night. He's live for us as well. Nick? Officer Orozco touched many who knew her, and now her family and colleagues at OPD are remembering her in Washington, D.C., as fallen officers across the nation are remembered. Right now, dozens of Omaha police officers are in Washington, D.C. to pay tribute to fallen officer Carrie Roscoe, who paid the ultimate sacrifice. And she was such a fantastic officer. Again, she epitomized the public service. Officer Roscoe worked with Lieutenant Ken Kanger, who is in D.C. right now for the ceremonies this week. We spoke with him on FaceTime. It has been a moving experience. Kanger says being here at the memorial wall is heart-wrenching. It's probably one of the worst experiences I've had to go through because uh, Carrie worked for me and I would never have dreamed that any of the officers of the Omaha Police Department, let alone somebody that, that worked with me and that I worked so closely with, would have their name etched on the wall. But in the same breath, it, it is a tremendous tribute. Officer Roscoe's name is now etched in this wall, along with thousands of fallen officers across the nation. It's an experience Sergeant Jeff Kopetz wanted to see in person. We spoke to him just before he left for D.C. The ultimate honor is, is then to go there and say forever when everyone walks through that memorial, they'll see her name. On Thursday, Senators Ben Sass and Deb Fisher laid a wreath by Officer Roscoe's name on the memorial to pay their respects. OPD Chief Todd Schmoder says the Roscoe's impact on this force will forever be felt. I'm very proud the world, the city, got a glimpse of her life. I, I'm devastated by the circumstances as to how all that came about, but very, very proud that the world got to see who she was, and she's very much remembered around here and always will be. On Sunday, OPD will have a police memorial service at 1 p.m. at OPD headquarters. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News. We're